So now that we're getting into complex uh, structures and complicated objects, you're going to have to juggle more than four forms. Um, generally speaking, there's going to be one to two major component forms of any complicated object, and then all the other forms are kind of going to kind of be subforms. Um, there's very few situations where you would encounter uh, like very very complicated objects that have you know six main forms that you have to juggle to get the thing correct. Um, here what we're working on is a candelabra and you know the basic process already. That's break it down into a cylinder, pull the lines all the way up, and then everything else kind of falls into place. So what I'm kind of doing here is actually um, throwing two stage of the, stages of the process together. I'm doing uh, a gesture drawing to kind of establish roughly where this object is, and I'm doing the outline of the basic forms uh, themselves. And I'm kind of going about that um, very quickly uh, and just getting them established very, um, very generally and, and putting me in a place where I can refine those forms as the drawing goes along. Um, after that stage, you want to go ahead and measure and make sure that you've put everything in the correct spot. Um, and you'll notice too that this drawing is really uh, fast. It's sped up nearly three times the normal speed, so I don't expect you to draw this quickly. Although it is possible, um, the main thing about speed, and every, everybody wonders how they can draw faster, the way to draw faster is to flow through the process without second-guessing yourself. That is the main thing that differenti differentiates people who can draw fast from people who can't. If your process isn't good, then everything else can't really follow in line. Um, one of the things that I like to do on the form stage is kind of use the shadow core line to help uh, distinguish where the form actually is and how that goes in space. You are always limited in the amount of dimension that you can convey when you only focus on the outer edges of the form. And here you notice that I'm playing a little bit with color um, because it is a a brass candelabra. So what I've done here is kind of used a secondary color to uh, increase the amount of form that I can convey because um, I can kind of do some, you can kind of do a, a line that describes the form uh, in a, as a counterpoint to the shadow core. And I'm only going to stick with line for this drawing. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, at this point, I'm going to go side to side all the way down the object. And and you'll find that when you move left to right, left to right, left to right, left to right, um, that you do this thing kind of called bracketing. And this allows you to get the symmetry of the forms uh, more accurate more quickly because you kind of have the the form in your mind. If you go down all the way down from top to bottom on the left side, and then all the way down top to bottom on the right side, your chances of creating symmetry are pretty low. Uh, the degree of difficulty gets much higher because you're you're breaking down uh, these components into two stages rather than breaking breaking it down into 14 stages. Sometimes the more you break something down, the easier it gets. Glenville P used to say that uh, when you break something down, uh, the impossible becomes possible. And when you look at a form like this, it seems difficult to do at first, but if you break it down and take follow the process, take it in very small stages, it becomes relatively easy.